Trail. This is Mrs. Archer with your daily Wildcat Wire news. Today is Friday, May 21st, 2021. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We would like to wish a very happy birthday to Jeremy K, Muayyad M, I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, as well as Khalil M, Jaslyn S, Peyton F, James J, and Igzy H, who will be celebrating this weekend. Today we will have some sun in the morning with increasing clouds during the afternoon and a high of 86 degrees. Time to turn on that air conditioning. Well, it's Friday, so here are some fun facts just for you. Blue jeans were officially invented in May of 1873 after Levi Strauss and Jacob Davis obtained a patent for the pants on May 20th. Recent fashion trends have women wearing high-waisted jeans. In any given year, no month ever begins or ends in the same day of the week as May does. On May 20th, 1932, Amelia Earhart flew across the Atlantic Ocean, marking the first solo flight by a woman. I remember actually doing a book report on her when I was younger. Speaking of book reports, your library books are overdue. Please turn them into the box outside the library doors immediately if you are an in-person student. If you are a remote student, please drop them off in the box outside the front doors as soon as possible. Your account will be charged for any books not turned in by the end of this week. Get those books turned in, Wildcats! The ABC countdown to the end of the year continues today. Today is Q for Quality Day, so we hope you wore your favorite shirt. Monday is R for Rainbow. Oh, I bought a special shirt for that one. Let's see how many colors you can wear. More Spirit Day countdown announcements to come. Let's finish the year with some fun. Has your dog or pet been your study buddy this year while you're doing some schoolwork at home? We want to include a study buddy's pets page into the yearbook. What a great idea, Mrs. Smart. So download the yearbook snap app and submit your pictures of you working with your loyal study buddy ready to assist. Any questions, please email Mrs. Hartford, AKA Mrs. Smart. Eighth graders, next Thursday, May 27th, will be the time for you to pick up uh, items for promotion. Stop by between 3 and 6 p.m., drive up and pick up your promotion gown, tickets, and programs. Make sure you tell your parents so you're all set for promotion. So last Friday, I had the distinct pleasure, and by pleasure, I, I mean it really wasn't all that fun. It really kind of was fun of running with the cross country and the girls soccer team. I say it really wasn't a pleasure because if you really, if you were to ever ask me to go run for fun, I'd probably tell you no. And if I was running, you probably need to call 911 because I'm being chased. However, in a moment of weakness, I decided that I would run with the team. So I run with the JV level two. And as we were running, a student passed by me and said, Mrs. Archer, next week you should do thoughts from the run. And I was like, that's a really great idea. So I have a couple of thoughts that kind of have were from the run and then kind of trickled into this week. So as I was running, I was noticing that there were a lot of people behind me and a lot of people with and kind of like that attitude of they couldn't, even though they hadn't even started. And I have to admit that I was pretty happy as we started. We got to the train tracks and there was a train and we got a nice little break. That was pretty fun. Wasn't it, Mr. Lubing? Yeah. You, you even were, didn't make it across the tracks before me, so I didn't feel too slow that day. But anyway, later in the evening, something happened too. And then this morning when I was riding my bike, the instructor said, like they do like a little intro. And the last thing she said, and it is always, let that attitude determine your output for today. And I thought to myself, how true is that? There have been so many things over the course of this last week that I have noticed attitude is determining performance, okay? 
So first, it happened with the run. My attitude towards it was not all that great, but as it came time, and I know that a lot of students were looking forward to me running, so I did do a little bit better than I thought I would, and I know that I did pretty good because the next day I was super sore. But then I also noticed a lot of students saying along the way, I can't, or making excuses why they couldn't, instead of just going ahead and trying. And then, later that night, after I left, I had to go to my son's baseball game. And he was gonna, it was, a, it was a double header. And by the time we got there, it was kind of far. So it was starting the second game. And he's like, he comes up to me, he's like, mom, you're not gonna believe who's catching for me today. Insert boy's name here. Let's call him John for the sake of this conversation today. He is horrible. I do not wanna, I don't wanna pitch with him catching. He's gonna do a horrible job. I don't even want, I'm like, you know what, Jack? I'm not gonna listen to this. You just gotta go out there and do your thing. I'm like, what can I control? You want me to go to your coach and tell him that this kid shouldn't catch? It is what it is. So they're up first because they're the away team. So they, they, their bats were not great, whatever. So then my, my son goes out to pitch and he's warming up. And I look at my mom, I'm like, this is horrible. He's throwing them over the catcher's head. Even the ones that are going into the catcher's mitt, even like for the warm up, the catcher is missing them. And I can tell with every pitch, Jack is getting angrier and angrier. And the first two innings, and it came to the point then that the, pitch, the catcher, by the second inning, he started crying and he wanted out because he was making poor throws, dropped third strikes everywhere. They scored two runs and they hadn't hit the ball once. It was all on walks and dropped third strikes. So as they put in the new catcher that he wanted, he ended up pitching better and better and ended up with a no hitter that day. And I kept thinking to myself, I'm like, how many times have I seen that with students here? Our attitude determines our performance. If you go in with a better attitude, you're always going to do that much better. So I want you to tell me about a time where your change in attitude actually helped you with your performance. Because I can, I can tell you with 100%, even for myself when I get on the bike and I'm not feeling, feeling good about it, my performance isn't as great. Because I already, I'm defeated before I even start. And that doesn't do anybody any favor. So that's this week's thoughts on the run slash bike. All right, before we get into Mrs. Archer's wheel of fun, I wanted to talk to you. Last week we had accidental injuries. My yeg, my yeg. And I will say, I don't feel as bad anymore because a lot of you are hurting your siblings. And most most of the time you're hurting them on trampolines. So, you know, I never had one of those growing up and I didn't let my kids have one because I knew someone who got really severely injured on a trampoline, so I never did that. Um, and then stupid human tricks. We got a lot of students here who can do a lot of funny things with their tongues. I'm going to tell you that. Faith K in sixth grade, she can make a crown with her tongue. I want you to stop by and show me that. Uh, Caitlin M in seventh grade, you are able to flip your eyelids. I can do that too. That's kind of, it's kind of gross. Oh yeah. It's really gross. I do it for you, but you won't be able you kind of got to be in person, but maybe you guys can ask uh, Caitlin M in seventh grade to do it for you. And then Kylie B and Micah R in eighth grade, you guys can both wiggle your ears. So that's a good time. I don't think I could do that. I don't, I don't know. I have to, I have to think about it. Can you do it? What's your stupid human shark, Mr. Living? Uh, just my pinkies are bent. Oh, his pinkies are, yeah. There's a lot of kids who could like do funky yeah. things with their thumbs and stuff. All right. Oh, everyone, hold on a second. The one time I forgot to get, have this ready. I usually have it on the floor. Okay, so this is a raffle for every grade level. Seventh grade, Allison M. Who's this? Who is this? Eighth grade, we have Diaria E. Sixth grade, Sophia B, aka Shorty Doo Wop. And for the teachers, oh wait, I shouldn't be looking. Miss Diamond. All right, so you're all going to get a prize from me today. Well, that about wraps it up for us here today. Remember that today is a B day. Be sure that you attend your B day encore classes. Thank you again for watching and remember to start each day with a positive attitude, face new challenges, and always rise above. Have a great day and an even better weekend, Wildcats.